Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksome. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for all future content. With this whole situation that's been going on now for the better part of nine months, it's going to take a lot of things for a lot of people to actually want to become a voice actor this day and age. Mostly because obviously they see everyone and... You know, a few people, they could be like, oh, right, if that's how everyone's acting in the voice acting community, I don't really want to be a part of that, so that sort of thing. And this just goes to show now what type of click that they have in the voice acting community. So this is actually coming from Oblivion Zeddy. So big shout out to him. You know, they always uh, tag me a lot of good stuff. And this is what he's had to say. Here's how low Kick Vic is. Here is our mean girl click mentality. Here's the coming storm to a new VA. Walk lock stop, sorry, lock step or else. Be sure to say hi and obviously tag these people. How bad is it to get bullied just to work? And when you click into it, it's actually a snippet of a direct message that simply Andrea has sent to someone. And this is what they said. I see that you're a VA and new to this industry. I just wanted to reach out and message you with some advice. I see that you support V and that you're involved with Fantasy Soft. The VA community is very small and word gets around fast. Those affiliations could be hateful to your reputation and your career. Before it even gets off the ground, those affiliations could be hurtful. I can tell you're starting out, so I just wanted to DM you privately to share this information. Have a good one. And there it says you can no longer send direct messages this. So obviously what they've done, they may have just send all of this and be like, oh yeah, that's it, get rid of them. But the worst part of all of this is, though, they've they continued to keep having a go at this girl, at this person who wants to become a VA. And that's not right, come on. That's absolutely terrible. You don't do that to someone who wants to get into the actual voice acting community. It's absolutely disgusting. And here we are now. That's what we have another one. We have these people now. Simply Andrea, you've got Marissa Lenti there, and you've got some BT. Is just making herself look pretty bad here and doesn't understand that people like you, Marissa, are looking at this behaviour. Well, she definitely knows that I specifically am watching since she blocked me, laughing my ass off. But yes, it doesn't seem to register that her potential future clients could hire her as an actor in seeing this too. Seeing what? she ha This person hasn't done anything bad, you know? And then you got Andrea going back. I politely told her something similar via DM. Well, it's not actually politely, is it? You basically told her, don't like these people or you're not going to work. That's exactly what you said to her. You know, that certain affiliations can be harmful to someone's reputation career who is just starting out in VA work and got blocked. And this is who, this is who Marissa is. Voice actor, director, scriptwriter, working on anime and games across the country. And then she obviously she's got Borderlands 3, which, to be honest with you... I'm not going to buy it because obviously there's been a few things regarding that. Dragon Ball Super, Kimono Friends, Fairy Tail, and Nanbaka. So that's who she is. You know, she's going on saying that basically if she wants a job, I'm the one who she has to be friends with. That's wrong. That is just showing the mentality of these people, man. They're literally like, yeah, if, you, if you're friends with them, you're not friends with us, you're never going to get a job with us. How wrong is that? And to see that they are publicly gatekeeping this now, it just shows how bad these people really are. And it's sad to see because people, if they want to become a voice actor or get into that sort of world, you know, script writing and everything else then, and you see all of this on Twitter, you know, again, you could just be neutral in all of this, but we know how those people feel on that side about neutral people. They don't like it. They see you that you're against them, even if you are neutral. So the way that their mindset works, and especially with this now as well, about you know the gatekeeping and their little mean girls click and everything else, it just it's just horrible to see, man. It's just nice. It's just not nice. And it's really funny as well because you've got actually the Andrea girl, she's actually replied to Oblivion Zeddy. 
I'm not part of KV, but I do support survivors. This wasn't a threat. I was cordial. Didn't curse, demean or name call. It was advice. Well, if she's saying she's not a part of anything, then it shouldn't really matter. And she should never have said, if you support this, it's going to get you bad. You know, it's not. Really, if what you need to look at with that there, Andrea, is, well, what you, you basically are supporting KV. That's what you're doing. But again, these people don't seem to think like that and they just don't go about it. And I can possibly see this going a little bit worse now because with this VA who they are talking about, they could be like, yeah, we don't want to follow this person and we don't want her involved. But we'll just have to wait and see for that. So if you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Share the hell out of this channel. Share this video far and wide. And I'll see you all you lovely people soon.